This is how they celebrate a long, hard-fought victory in Raqqa. Rebel fighters drove around the heart of the city, known as Paradise Circle. But for more than three years, life in Raqqa was more like hell. After ISIS moved in and claimed it as their de facto capital, today rebel fighters declared victory. This is an historic moment, she says, for the fighters and the entire world. The battle to retake Raqqa lasted five months. On the ground, it was these fighters who faced off against ISIS. They're with the Syrian Democratic Forces, a mix of Kurdish and Arab soldiers. Their backup came from the skies in the form of unrelenting airstrikes from the U.S.-led coalition. Despite today's celebrations, the Pentagon stopped short of declaring the fight over. We estimate there to be uh, perhaps about a, a hundred uh, ISIS fighters that you know, could remain in Raqqa. Defeating ISIS in Raqqa came at a high cost. About 80 percent of the city was destroyed and human rights groups say about a thousand civilians were killed. It was a horror, he says. I tried to escape twice, but they were shooting at me. At its peak at the start of 2015, ISIS controlled territory that stretched right across Syria. But with rebel forces, the Russians and the U.S.-led coalition targeting the militants, this is now all that's left of their caliphate in Syria. ISIS, though, is far from defeated. Unfortunately, it will be more busy in trying to commit atrocities abroad in the West. When ISIS is defeated in Syria and Iraq, one of the biggest challenges will be figuring out how to stop its global recruitment drive, which has fueled its brutal brand of extremism for years now. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Tel Aviv.